another breakthrough from the Umbrella Corporation. What's up guys, Single Player Nacho here with another Resident Evil lore video on Umbrella's terrifying and disturbing practices. This video can be 40 minutes long because, as we all know, Umbrella is the epitome of wrong in every sense of the word. Their examinations and experiments have caused massacres, an abundance of death, destruction, and illness that gripped the entire world. You'd better believe that in order to get to that level of violent mischief, there were some extremely disturbing practices conducted in the dark. Umbrella's abductions. A diary found in Resident Evil Survivor details one of Umbrella's horrifying procedures kidnapping young adults, cutting into their brains, and extracting raw material. It is said that people aged 16 to 20 from around the world are captured by men in black. Of course, the men in black are an extraterrestrial phenomenon of interdimensional beings that follow and capture people. In this case, they work for Umbrella. The hostages are kept in a lab and studied closely. At first, no malicious intent is shown, and in fact, Umbrella takes the hostages out every now and then to arcades and theaters in a friendly fashion. But unfortunately for the hostages, that narrative dies abruptly. One by one, they are picked off and sent to different locations where they are subject to excruciating experiments, being scalped, their brains examined and extracted for experiments. My only hope is that they were at least killed before undergoing such a painful experience, but who knows. The Ashford Experiments This story capitalizes the problem with Umbrella putting absolutely insane people in power. Alfred Ashford was the commander-in-chief at the Rockford facility. Alfred was an insane, dictator-like commander, and it showed, as his experiments terrorized his captives. One eyewitness account of Alfred Ashford's test subjects is detailed, a prisoner that wrote down horrifying details, stating that his cell stinked of death and that he witnessed the torturous killing of one of his fellow captives. All he could hear were screams from the experimentation room. Alfred was horrible but it was what he did to his father that was most disturbing of all. Having found out that he was cloned and not fully blood related, Alfred took his father hostage and used him as a test subject for the T. Veronica virus. The result? Alfred's adoptive father mutated into a disgusting creature, deeming him a failed experiment. Nicknamed Nosferatu, Alfred entrapped his disfigured father in a secret base in complete solitary confinement. The poor failed experiment was alone for 15 years before he was put down for good. B.O.W.s and how they are made. The ultimate crimson head found in Resident Evil 1's mansion actually has quite a distressing origin story. We have to remember that Umbrella's viruses were still very early in development at this point. So early that they hadn't tested the effects of the T-virus on humans. We can give Umbrella a pass on this one because an accident occurred at the lab. An unnamed Umbrella USA employee was mistakenly exposed to the T-virus strain and quickly began eating up all his co-workers. Here's where Umbrella fails to be at least a little bit good. Instead of putting down the crimson head, they see him as an opportunity for further testing the effects of the T-virus on humans. They monitor him closely, going as far as naming him Prototype 1. Four workers were killed upon trying to give this hungry zombie a meal. And again, instead of putting him down, kept him alive, storing him tightly in a suspended coffin. Similar to Chimera's, Umbrella just seems to have a fascination with human embryos. If you were to look at a hunter, this grotesque, buff, sharp-clawed, scaly specimen, a human fetus is the last thing you'd think it would come from. But unfortunately, even barely conceived babies aren't safe from Umbrella's demented minds. That's right, hunters are the byproduct of infusing the Beta-2 strain onto a three-week-old human embryo, along with the genetics of a reptile. You might ask, where the hell are they getting all these embryos from? Judging from their history, Umbrella definitely abducted innocent women and made them forcefully obliged to the sick experiments. But perhaps a smaller detail we always forget about among the bigger ones of Umbrella's disgusting conduct, the effort to completely cover up any evidence. I mean, Umbrella really is the worst. So how did they try to cover everything up? All of the kidnappings, experiments, and virus leaks? You guessed it. By using clones of already dead mercenaries, known as Undertakers. These Undertakers may not spook the crap out of you at first sight. They look pretty similar to the average human, but they are not what they seem. Genetically enhanced human clones made for one thing, completely exonerating Umbrella of all of its crimes, killing anyone in their sight. 
it's just like at every possible turn, Umbrella has something up their sleeves. There's definitely a lot more to add to the list of Umbrella's crimes. Which of its experiments did you find most disturbing? Any suggestions for part 2? Comment down below your thoughts and suggestions for other lore videos. Thank you guys so much for the continued support, it, it means a lot, and I absolutely love making these types of videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, stay single. <laughs>